knowledge. My... Ah, here we go. Right. So we are en route to Scant. Yep. Um, we're a couple of days out. We've been warned about images of the city, um, the Scarlet Brotherhood. Basically, been told to stay on the ship. Um, we could easily fall into trouble. We've picked up another sailor from from um, his own ship, where we discovered that they'd recovered some form of totem from underwater, but caught in their nets. It's pretty strange. Um, it appeared to mind control everyone on the ship, except there was one sailor, and they all leapt overboard. It was literally speaking in their minds, encouraging them to come join it. Uh, we, we rescued him. He managed to put up some protection symbols in desperation. They seem to have done the trick. Um, we, the, the, the Obold and the captain scuttled the ship, though Fufuk was desperate to burn the thing down. He just wanted to watch what happened when the ship burned. But, you know, you know, maybe the opportunity will come again later. And there um, was a, a strange moment when one of the sailors on the front of the Windborn toppled into the water, lost his footing. So Obold attempted to drown himself, uh, um, which would have been quite hard since he can breathe underwater. Succeeding and, uh, <laughs> drowning the crewman. Well. Then... <clears throat> <laughs> crewman did not unfortunately survive the encounter with Obold underwater. Um, <laughs> sad, you know, very sad. We had to have a funeral at sea. Uh, the good news is for food managed to do a very good job on composing journey on the windborne really close to uh sort of doing a, a 25 on his comp composition check so he's got high hopes for this piece um uh, and now i think that pr pretty much covers it i think we've still kept our abilities more or less knowing that how superstitious this lot appear to be it seems to be the smart thing to do for now how long we can keep it up is of course another question is it full uh that sounds pretty uh pretty accurate uh so i believe let me just check my notes as well so that was um So yeah, so it's the um, third day. It's the evening of the third day, I believe, isn't it? Just after the um, funeral. Yeah. So yeah, we'll advance that to dusk. So yeah, so it's about eight eight p.m. ish. Is uh, somebody knocking? <laughs> I don't think there's anything we're doing during the night. It's just uh, doing a standard watch again. Right, Ill. Yeah, the um, I think no, wasn't it the next morning? Sorry, full because the next day a number of people reported that they'd had disrupted sleep overnight. Um, Cranky just, people. Let me just yeah, we had to uh, make, make a wisdom saving throw, didn't we? I thought that was Correct. the... Sorry, I, I thought that was the night before the guy, the sailor fell overboard. I could be wrong. No, it was the night. It was after. All right, so oh, yeah. so yeah, so this is the morning of the fourth day then. Right. Um, let me set that right. So that should be the twenty fourth. The twenty fourth of good month. Yes, I believe. Oh, is that, oh no, twenty. I wrote one, down. One, two, yeah, three, four. Right. Um. No, actually, it is 23rd. I've got it written down my calendar. Set sail on the 20th. 
Yeah, 23rd. So that's right. So, so yeah. Well, it was uh, it was mid. So it was midday-ish. Not. Um, yeah, well, I'll just have to leave the uh, clock Either. where it is now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. So despite what the clock says, Three. it's sort of uh, midday-ish on the 20 on the 23rd. Uh, fourth day, about four days out of port, about two to three days away from uh, Scant. So about mid voyage, or just over. Um, the only thing that, uh, um, other than doing the occasional bardic check on sort of compositions, um, and pursuing the captain at every opportunity, making sure Angus Lee, the sailor we rescued, is okay. Is um, okay. um still has that box of verses that we haven't really looked at. That's true. So, with Lose High, you know, see if we can unpick what they are. Do you need them back on the screen then, or...? I really, um, if he wants to sort of share his toys. Um, you know, if he's got plenty to keep himself busy, but um, it's up to lose eye if he wants to maybe save it for later, or if he's got... I know him and Ubold are just basically slapping each other, you know, amongst train, <laughs> I don't know. It's, Something like that, um, or whether he wants to sort of exercise his brain a bit and um, kind of yeah. little so, puzzle box. So, what do you want to do? Uh, Lu Hai? What's Lu Hai want to do? I can bring, I can pull them back on screen uh, if if uh, you want everybody to join in on that, or everybody knows, don't they? No, I mean so they can, so you can all see them now and. If you're wanting to try and piece together what the um, the order of them, yeah, if you want, yeah, is that what you want to do? Sure. Yeah. Right. With that. right. Let me let me just uh, find them again. Um, so. So, mm -hmm. I'm too. What's oh, God, that's yes. lagging a bit. <laughs> Strange, why is it not pulled about it? Drop pull it up. Um, ah, there we Mind go. you still says game paused actually. Uh, minus four. There we go. I haven't got any I, online. I had to reload, I had to reload the actual game screen for it to happen. Yeah, sorry, no. it's made my fault. I didn't actually unpause it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's see what did that come up with. That came up with a tattered bit. So tattered. So show players. Oh, the custom. Uh, I've, I've had to remove the um, the custom journal thing. Oh yeah. So is everybody's character sheets working properly? I did check them and I thought I, I mean I didn't uh, look yes. into any great detail, but it looked like all the uh, numbers were working again. Oh, I'll look. Um, I forgot what my armor class should be. I don't know if it's 16 or 18. Or some of the bell bells and whistles are gone. So, like, for instance, these journal entries are just plain text now rather than that to fancy handwriting on parchment. But not to worry for now. I can add stuff back in as and when. Uh, so that's first bit. And then the next bit. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
There we go. It's loaded now. 16, that's Charge fine. Charge to shoot. Yeah, Nice these things, or do they all pop out? Full size. You can, re uh, you can resize them so they're not taking up as much space. Remnant. Why is that open there? Shred. That one's popped out, that one's just... That's odd. What's going on here? Slither... And finally ripped. Ripped and torn. Okay. Ripped so, and torn. so you should be able to see all ten pieces. <coughs> well, Hang although I've done resizing them. So yeah, you can should be able. There should be a drag arrow down yeah, in the bottom right corner, so you can resize. Working. Yeah. So, and if you double click on the um, on the title bar, it'll um, shrink them down to just like a title bar, so you can, if you don't want to close them con completely. Uh, I've got five. I've got eight. Um, My machine, I had to close me. I've got one that's opened up in my pop-out for my character sheet for some bizarre reason, and I can't resize that. Can't move it, should I? Yeah, can't resize it either. Strange. Uh, well, if you tell me which ones, yeah, I'll, let me just resize them myself so I can... Um, get rid of that. Not for the minute. Tell me which ones you haven't got on your uh, showing up, and I'll I'll share it again to every, um, to everybody, so it'll should show up again then. Can't tell you which ones I've not got. No. Uh, uh, the one no, I it's... need resharing is that one that says "From a Vengeful Gnome." The Bard took it bad. So what? Uh, took it hard. What uh, name is it? So they've got a name of the bit like shred, torn, ripped. It's remnant. Remnant. Okay. Yep. Right. That's... Oh. Hang on, no. Oh, that's cocked up. <laughs> um, so, I've what... closed my character sheet, so share it again. Right. Because for some reason, when my character sheet was open, it's sharing it onto my character sheet instead oh, that's of. weird. And now something exceedingly strange is going off. What's going on here? Right, that's better. Uh, right. So... so, which bits have you got then, uh, Kieran? I've got ripped, torn, yep, shred, remnant, yep, fragment, yep, sliver, and scrap. I'm missing one as well, yeah. On top so of those, I've I've got piece and shred as well. Right, I'm just I'll just go. Th it'll just be easy if I just go through them, share them all again, rather than trying to. Okay. Um, okay, so this is Sliver, for people who haven't got that. Um, torn. It doesn't actually reappear, so you, I think you're safe to just go through them all. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, cool. Right, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just click on all. I'll tell you when I've done them all. Moving and we are to trying to pop it out myself. Is that more? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I've got one missing as well. What have I got missing? Um, bit. Bit. I've got bit. Okay, so you should have ten pieces. Yeah, I've got ten now. Everybody see ten Thank pieces? You. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lee? Yeah. Okay. okay. Knock yourselves out. Is two of them actually in italics or is that just the way the font's been done on the? I think it's with its. It, there would have been sort of in a. T I would ignore anything like that. It's probably uh, it's probably a hangover from um, from me disabling that um, journal mod that put it in fancy okay. fancy text. So the so yeah, any any sort of italics or anything is is isn't of any relevance. It's just um, that's just a. A bug from me removing some of the mods. I mean, I'm seeing the last word in the rhymes in a lot of the, a lot of the. I can make pairs if that makes sense. So shred and scrap, torn and ripped, tattered and fragment, seek and reek, uh, gold and cold, glory and story, other and brother. Yeah, so it looks like it, they are meant to be pieced together. Cough, oh yeah, coughing and off. So, so yeah, as um, as for Fook, um realised with his bad knowledge, it's uh, there should be five verses of uh, four lines each. So I could tell you what they are if, if it makes it easier for everybody. Or you can piece it together yourself. Well, yeah, but I, uh, tell, if you want to tell me, then I'll put... Um, oh, mind you, I can't, it doesn't affect... Um, the order on the on your screen. I don't. The thing is, I can't. I, I don't know which which one comes first, obviously. But I've got bit and sliver, remnant and piece, fragment and tattered, shred and scrap, and torn and ripped as pairs. Right, yeah. But obviously, I don't. I don't know which comes first. It could be ripped then torn, or torn then ripped. I don't, I don't know how it works out yet. Yeah, unfortunately, I've had to um, disable that uh, that player journal mod, so you can't actually write anything. Although you might be able to use the uh, the writing tools. Should be able to use the draw tools actually, so you could. Um, but then that's probably only going to show up. I don't know if that's going to show up to everybody or not. Uh, I'd say fragment goes above tattered. Okay. I think sliver comes before bit. Have a look. Yeah, I'll go with that. Piece and remnant. Remnant before peace, I think. I think shred before scrap as well. And ripped before torn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and shred before scrap.
Do you think there's any uh, point in trying to put them in an order from here? So like which first comes first? Because in that case, Sliver and Bit should probably come last. The last one alive was glad to survive. Yeah. So what we're saying so far then? Get them in order. I think they've got the verses put together. It's just deciding which which order the verses go in. Okay, so so what are we possibly? So what are we going? So you've got ripped and torn together, shred and yeah. scrap. Yeah. What was it? Fragment and remnant was it? Fragment and tattered. Mm -hmm. Fragment and tattered, okay. Uh, slither and and bit and bit and remnant and, and piece. remnant and piece, yeah. Right. What somebody else think of that of those those pairings? Are they in that? Uh, are you placing them in that order? Is it fragment and tattered or tattered then fragment? In those orders that they'll spread out. I'm just gonna... Although, looking at it now, I'm I'm not sure if Ripped and Torn's right. These heroes are friends, but let me just be a second. Gold, the house and wizards will be in place of the cult. Uh, it could be either way, really, couldn't it? Well, obviously, the um, you're gonna have to at the beginning of a of any kind of song or poem, you've got something that's gonna introduce. The story, I'm... yeah, and then that's what I'm thinking. I think I think you've just led on to it, then, aren't you? So a lot of them seem to start with like a, a prelude, and then somebody dies, <laughs> or it's the other, yeah, you would start with somebody dying, would you, and then the aftermath. So I think it's the other way around. I think it's torn then ripped, which would make it tattered and fragment. So you're going with torn then ripped, yes. I, I am personally, but I'm just okay. trying to piece them together at the moment. I'm just. I, I'm not, I'm not being the de facto on this. Yeah, yeah, I can't go with that actually. So torn and ripped. Uh, how about remnant and peace? I, I think peace and remnant. The friends carried on this strong. At least they had each other. From a vengeful gnome, the bad to be hard for the friend. No, actually, no, I don't know. No, I, th I think that is. Yeah, I think remnant and peace probably. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, you wouldn't start in that, would you? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. That could go either way. I'll come back to that one. Anybody else you got see, any... Um, any thoughts? Um, Fuchs sort of a little... quite practiced at composition now. Um, you know, based upon his, his performance skills, would it give him any insight into, you know, what would make like a motivating? Possibly, yeah. I might, poem. I might allow you uh, at some point to um, to go down that route. I, I think scrap and shred, by the way, because you wouldn't start with the word then, would you? Then the druid fought a lich. Those that survived did not claim the prize and shed it so, as they sought out more glory. Then the druid fought. To, yeah, I think that. I think it's shred, scrap then shred. Scrap then shred. Mm. Yep, yeah, agreeing with that. No. No. I'm just <laughs> thinking out loud. <laughs> What's I don't, everybody I don't else? Want to be the I don't want to be the voice on this. What's everybody else think? Hang on, because I'm still trying to put these in an order. Um, the only other, th I had two thoughts. One, we've got Olwen, who's old and he's been around a bit, so maybe he's actually encountered this kind <clears> of thing <throat> before. Maybe it sparks some kind of memory. Um, 
And then the other thing I was going to suggest is perhaps consult the captain, the crew, you know, it just says like, oh, we found this mildly interesting puzzle we're trying to sort of unpick. You know, does anyone on the ship recognize that, you know, they have thoughts on what it could mean? I mean, they, they're sailors, they've reports fairly regularly. They've probably encountered a lot of stories in the harbors and the bars and the passengers that they've carried. So, uh, I'm, I'm not sure regarding involving the crew. All win definitely, but with the crew, it would raise suspicion of us, in my opinion. Plus, ship's crews are always superstitious. Yes, yeah, that's they, what, they that's got a bit what I mean. earlier on, didn't they? That's what I mean, you know, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, got... so. Yeah, we can talk a lot of shit, they'll toss you overboard within half an hour. <laughs> yeah, more uh, faster than that. Of a bit. What have I got here? No, no. Fragmented, tattered. So tattered then fragment, I think. Yeah, me too. I've just, I've just, I think that's second as well. By the way, the way it says now four did remain. So I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what I'll do. I mean, you've got the fact that you've got some some lines. They'll, they'll, uh, there's some logical uh, progression to how they how they slot together. But since um, uh, Lou brought it up, I think um, we'll do it a bit like um, you know that old Mastermind game with the color codes. No. <laughs> I, I, I no. Don't know. Um, yeah, like, or, or like um, the was it, is it the um, hacking on Fallout? We got numbers in numbers. I've got correct numbers, and they're in wrong place or wrong, uh, incorrect place kind of thing. So if um, once you're uh, happy with um, how you've got them, the more uh, how you've got them, then Fafu can make, use his, his bardic talents to make a check. If the check's successful, then I'll tell you what's uh, what's correctly paired. If something, how many you've got correctly paired, and how many are in the um, are incorrect, and how many are spot on. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So, so every so often you can make a for who can make a bardic check. And then I'll tell you if it's successful. I'll tell you if, um, yeah, what's what's spot on and what's right but in the wrong order, and what's completely wrong. Do you want insight or perception or? Uh, well, I suppose it'd just be. Um, I suppose it'd be insight, wouldn't it? So, but you can use because you can obviously you can use proficiency because it's your because um, like I say you're doing it from a bardic point of view so it's performance as well. In fact, isn't performance? Yeah, you could use performance actually. Insight or performance would be equally valid, I would imagine. I've pasted my opinion into the uh, into the general of D and D. I've screenshotted it. Okay. Right then. So let me see. Twenty-three. Just, that'll, mm. That's sufficient. So I'll uh, let me just, let's have a look here. To me, the lines stir me with deep within my soul and cuddle my cockles. Oh, cheeky. So they've not you've not got the pairs arranged in any particular order either. So I can't tell you that I can't 
I can't give you any information on that. If you got if you arrange pairs in, in the order that you think you do, you, you they come in, then I can give you some clues. On mine, that. if you want, on yours, yeah. The, the I've just put the ones I've pasted in general. I've pasted them on top of each other. All right, I'll do, it's, it just showed up now. Uh, so it is yeah. So, but well, what's everybody think of that order? Is that the order you're going with for this first check? For this first thing. I'm not yeah, sure try Dan's that. first. I've put oh. mine into the chat box on. Oh yeah, in fact, I've just Foundry. seen. Yeah, I've seen. Oh, I've seen. Pissed, yeah. I've seen. Yeah, it's yours. I've seen. I can't see. I haven't seen Dan's. Dan's is in Discord. Oh, is it? All oh, right, it'd be better. Yeah, yeah. It'd be better in um... Discord. Sorry. Yeah, it'd be better in uh, Foundry. And not switch. Having yeah, to switch yeah. between. It'd be easier for me to just take a screenshot. All ah, right. Lazy. <clears throat> But you can you can yeah, highlight you can highlight stuff and copy and paste it with using keyboard shortcuts. It's still they still work even though it doesn't seem like they're working. So it started off the same with mine and Dan's. Okay, it's so Dan's so we got torn and ripped. Okay, that's that's correct. Both correct. Correct pairings and correct position. Awesome. Uh, I guess we could count how many there were startings. Well, we could figure out based on uh, now four did remain. So the halfling wizard got caught in a blizzard. The half orc didn't make it. The druid fought a lich. And the vengeful gnome, the bard, took it hard. The last one alive was. So there's, there's five of them. Yeah, there's five pairings. There's five verses. And each of they lose one. They lose one every time. So now four did remain. To me, it sounds like would, would be number number two because okay, one's so just died. Well, well, just going going so going on with Fafouk. So Fafouk is able to tell you that the first, he suspects that the first two, so torn and ripped, are in the correct position, uh, the correct pairing, and in the correct order. So, both as a pair and as the first verse. Um, the second one you've got listed, remember? Uh... Dan's is tattered and fragment, if we were using Dan's. Uh, no, we don't have to use mine, I'm just thinking. Um, well, I'm not having to work up this one, because this is one I can see. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can see that one. Um, so... So remnant and peace is um, remnant and peace is incorrect. Okay, so, I think. Oh, sorry. Like, let me let me finish going through what's on here. Uh, so remnant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace, oh. remnant and peace is completely wrong. Nothing right about that at all. Yeah, well, even, yeah. The, even the pairing. Yep. Th th really? That's what, that's what I was gonna say. Wow. I think I fi I figured out what should be there. Finish. Uh, Otherwise, oh, we'll let me have a look. Oh, have a... Things, I think. Let me see. Actually, I'm looking at it wrong. So no, the pairing's correct. So the pairing's correct. It's just in the wrong place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, parents correct, although it's it's correct but in the wrong order. So it should be peace then remnant. But it's that's not... what I'm saying. I, th I think that the second part of every of these every one of these pieces is one of the characters dying. That seems to be like a recurring thing. So blizzard, uh, wizard in the blizzard. Uh, half orc didn't make it. Druid fought a lich. Vengeful gnome. Bad to get hard. Uh, and then last one. And I think the second bit should be the tattered and fragment. Yeah, I think so too. So because that's right, where, should we where, carry on with should we carry on with what we've put forward first though, and then we'll go back and. Yep. Yeah, so torn, so torn and ripped are in the correct. Are both the a correct pairing. 
and mm -hmm. they are the first two uh, it's the first verse awesome uh, remnant and peace are the correct uh, are a correct pairing but in the wrong order and in the wrong and it's not the second verse uh, scrap and shred um, glory and story Excuse me. Let me put that in right order. Do this actually so I can see what I'm doing. Yes. No, no, can. Can I? No, no, no. Yeah, it's always someone dies on the second second verse for each pairing, isn't it? Uh, it looks right. like. The lap, except bit and silver, it's sliver because you can't tell who, when he passed away or the last one alive is classified. So, scrap and shred and is correct pair in the correct order and it is the third verse. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think it's tattered fragment, I think, is the second one. Yes, definitely. So, what are you saying? Tattered and then fragment? Yeah, for the second verse. <clears throat> Yep, that's correct. Right. So it's torn, ripped, tattered fragment, scrap, shred, and then I think it's piece, remnant, and then sliver bit. That's correct. Yep, you got it right. Fantastic. So it reads. I'll post it. So it reads, oh, it's all right, I'll put it on, I've got, I've got the complete thing here. <laughs> oh, I was just going to paste it in now. <laughs> I'll leave it. Oops. It's a bit spread out there, like, but anyway. So, is that, uh, I bet that's just done it private, has it? No, it's come through to me. Oh, no, I've got it. Okay. So, it reads, the, These heroes and friends meant untimely ends as they looked for treasures of gold. The halfling wizard got caught in a blizzard and died from the frost and the cold. Now four did remain through hardship and pain. They found what they did long that they long did seek. The half-orc didn't make it when he tried to take it. The scent of his burnt flesh did reek. Those that survived did claim the prize and shared it as they sought out more glory. Then the druid fought a lich, but the others would not, and that was the end of his story. The friends carried on and tried to stay strong, at least they still had each other. From a vengeful gnome, the bard took it hard for the murder of his brother. The last one alive was glad to survive, though about, though about his lost friends he thought often. When he passed away on one rainy day, their legacy was placed in his coffin. Not really. It sounds <laughs> pretty prophetic to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't, I don't we're like to die. Yeah, <laughs> except I don't like it. I, guess. I, I don't guess like it. Be uh, Luhai. Luhai is going to survive. Yeah, he's the only one that's not mentioned there, is he? Mm-hmm. Uh, got a bit of bit narrative there. But... Wasn't it? Wasn't it named in his box as well? Went, yes. Went the box it was his name. his named box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, he's the immortal. I mean, there, <laughs> there is only one. I'll put that into it. So and I'll... it is Lou High. And it's plus one better than you. <laughs> <laughs> always one better. So let's see. I'll Here create... lies Lou High, always one better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll create. Here lies Lou High, idea. plus one to everything. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> That was fun. Can I get rid of all these pop-ups now? You can, if you wish.
interesting. I mean, does does this spark any kind of recognition now that we feel we've got them all in the right order? Uh, no, you're not. Uh, it doesn't doesn't sound familiar. No. Hmm. Does it unlock a secret treasure chest somewhere? Who knows? Da, 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 da. See, so or like read the verse to the box and see if it music. opens a secret thing. There you go. So it opens a, a secret catch. So there's a copy of that in the uh, in the player journal folded out. Oh, nice one. Old one recognise the poem. It's like a classic education thing if you went to some wizard private college somewhere um well, let's see has he heard of it um he says anonymous poem you could plagiarize it <laughs> um he says he, he he has actually heard of it before he's not overly overly familiar with it um he thinks it relates to um some um he thinks it's called the heroes of greyhawk so it's not about us then we might be the heroes of greyhawk because i mean oh no it's um I mean, there's a druid in there, and um, yep, there's a druid. And unless you know, we're planning on picking up a druid from somewhere. <coughs> there would be what six of us. When's a druid? For the uh, verses. We have got a druid. Got an apprentice druid. No, is it? I'm trying. Is it a level one druid now? Yeah, yeah apprentice is druid. Really? Is my mic not working? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Sorry. I can hear you. Nobody's I keep screaming. Just, just I'm a ignore, druid. <laughs> just, just, just ignoring I'm, you. I'm, I'm trying to tell them. I'm, I'm a druid. Well, was, um... Yeah, but is he really? Is he really? <laughs> Is he though? Levels. He's got five levels as my barbarian. Well, well, to be fair, I can't talk. I'm only, only like a part time bard. So, yeah. Right, so, well, you know, that, that's great. We've, um. Um, does Alwyn know anything about these characters? I mean, they're. they're there was clearly one that survived and was buried, so there's a bit of a hint that there could be some treasure. He, he doesn't, he doesn't know. He just he vaguely he has vague recollections of hearing about hearing about it when he was when he was a when he was a student. Oh wow, it's old. old. Okay, but but no, he doesn't. No, it, it can be a prophecy or something, you know, I mean, hmm. I mean, yeah, it's too, it's, oh, that's good to know. It's too, too many similarities with our group. It suggests maybe, um, yeah. maybe when, uh, when you back up that way, some, uh, somebody in Greyhawk might have be able to, an historian in Greyhawk might be able to help you better. Over for a second, uh, and I don't think it's a shit idea. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. <laughs> Maybe Luzai wants to take it up. I don't know. What do you think, Luzai? Don't go and track down some poetry. Um, you figure up to that area. Or uh, find out as if. Have somebody in grey Cool. I suppose that wild away a happy 
couple of hours on the boat. It did, I imagine so. I want to roll a check to see if I can improve on my Windborn composition. Is anybody else doing anything? Yeah. So, I think the last one up behind. No. Chilling with cat. Chilling with the cat. Oh, make an excellent progress. How about Cade and Luhai? Are they doing anything? I'm just resting. This studying is very tiring. Okay. Um, how about Luhai? I'm not doing anything. Not doing anything? Um, so, let's see. Uh, Cade, you can make a perception roll and um, tackling. Um, the uh, cats uh, sort of sat there going, meow, 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 meow. So, I will. Uh, which one is it? Let's roll. Speak with animals is a ritual. Yeah. Is. Uh, so, Cade, uh, you notice um, while you while you're studying, you notice uh, you, well, you can't help but notice that uh, Alwyn, um his health seems to have deteriorated slightly. Oh dear! Is it because of my, you know, mentoring, or is it some because of some other reason? Um, can, can I check him over? Uh, he, he brushes it off. He says, uh, he says uh, don't, "Don't be, don't be silly. It's not, it's nothing. Just, just, uh, just uh, the sea air getting on my chest." Uh, I still like to check you. I'm, I'm quite alright with medicine. You know, yeah, you I get, studied he, right, some gets, of it. Yeah, he gets he sort of, uncharacteristically. He gets a bit annoyed with you about it. Says and, 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 and like refuses any, um, any such interference. I, I still insist. I'm, I'm standing my ground. Right, and it gets. Uh, oh yeah. Right, gets up and walks away from you, and leaves the cabin. Oh. Is it possible to do a medicine check without, no. you know, touching him, no. just to ob observe his <laughs> behavior and you know walking and stuff? No, no, no you'd have you'd have to check him out. It'll have to, yeah, you'd have, they'd have to submit to it. Okay, or, or I at least will. Conscious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I don't want to you know do anything like that. I will you know share my you know observation with the rest of the group. Okay. I think that something is up. I'm not sure what. In the past, I was always right. So please <laughs> consider it. You might be fatigued again. Might be. But so you're going to have to explain again. What are you looking for exactly? So my master is behaving you know strange and. Uh, he, he might be ill, and he's not letting me check him over. So there's something up. I'm not sure what, but it's definitely something up. So, I don't know. I need your help regarding this. I don't know what to do. Because he doesn't let me to check him over. But I'm concerned about him, his welfare. cast detect magic that's yeah. not, a, not a bad option yes see if anything sort of is given away in around Olwen and the you know the ship in general I thought I'd no sleep like the others Yeah, sorry, Phil, was that right? So it's this morning that everyone's working a pranky. Yes, it was this morning, yes. I was fine. I think it was just a few of the crew yeah. members wanted it. Yeah, and just tackling. a... Or just eight, one or two. Yeah, just a, just a handful of the crew. Hmm. Yeah, I, I ritually caught us to take magic, see if anything... 
shows. Okay. What are you doing? Your usual walk around the ship, or doing? Or, or look at any? Or focused on one particular person, area, or? Yeah. So I'll, I'll ritually cast the last ten minutes, yeah. and then um, start with Olin. The other, if I have time, the other sailors who seem to be a bit out under the weather. Okay. Presumably, uh, casting uh, casting a ritual um, away from everybody. I invite him into the cabin. Correct. So yeah. he, he can do it, he can do it there without raising suspicion from anyone else. Okay. Um, what's what's somebody else doing? I'll just be wandering around. Just wandering around the ship. Okay. Occasionally sparring with Uhai. What surprised him? <laughs> like Kato. Yeah, yeah Kato. <laughs> Jumping out of, out of the cupboards. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping out of the wardrobe. Or it is back to Clouseau. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll be Kato, yeah. you can be Clouseau. No, then. <laughs> Not now, Kato. <laughs> uh, what about ta what's Tackling doing? I'm going to try and figure out what's up with Cat, Captain Tom. Okay, well, you seems stressed. so you're casting your ritual then? Yeah, if that's okay. okay. I'll make sure that everybody's watching and, you know, I'm not trying to rouse suspicion. Right, Okay. Okay, so... Um, okay, so... So, Fook, you um, wander about the ship. Are you, is Cade accompanying him, or...? Yes, um, I'm coming with him. Okay, right. You want? Sorry, go on. Sorry, I'm just leisurely walking, trying, you know, like, like enjoying the view and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Look inconspicuous. <laughs> Okay, so you wander around the ship. Um, uh, but no, there's nothing. Nothing pops up. Sorry, I missed part of your sentence. Did you uh, say there was nothing? Nothing. I am. Um, I mean, my next level would be identify, which should should illustrate some sort of actively influencing, like magic in place on somebody. Yes, if you cast it upon somebody, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but to do that, I need all one to literally sit still for. Yeah, so somebody have while. to. Alternatively, I could sprint down. Oop conversation with him, convince him to sit still. Um, alternatively, I could, I don't have lesser restoration at the moment, but I could prepare that for tomorrow to see if that helps him recover. Um, but beyond that, I'm kind of limited. So, Cade, you're going to have to convince Alwyn to uh, submit to some probing. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure he will comply. You know, if he's after under the influence of something, you know, like a spell, you know, he will be dead against it because of the spell. So, what is your suggestion? I don't know. That's why I came to you guys because I'm out of options. I don't want to harm him. I don't want to force him. You know, but. I like to check him over. How about if he falls asleep? Is it possible, you know, to do a medicine check on him when he's, you know, going into bed or something? Tackling has detect poison and disease. He could check him over ritualistically if you'd let him. Oh, good. That could work. That could work much better because 
decade decade my options are um knock him unconscious <laughs> i know i know what we are cost whole person we are not doing anything like that okay That's grapple to tread knock to tread. Oh. it could <laughs> quite easily kick your asses as well <laughs> okay tread gently all right that's the rule okay in theory He's, he's not the enemy, okay? okay and the, spell, to, the spell okay, can penetrate most to, barriers, but okay. it's put by one foot of stone or one inch of common metal. Could be like a hobbit trying to hold down Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> That's a good test. <laughs> I don't want to try that. <laughs> yeah, so you could, so um, Tackling could cast that from outside his cabin, I suppose. Yeah, he wouldn't even know. No. Well, he might do. Well, so long as he were asleep and you weren't too noisy. And the sailors didn't see you. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, there's a lot we could of just, ifs. We could just ask him. We could just be... Actually, listen, I have a message. So I send you a message from inside the cabin uh, when to come and you can cast it outside the cabin and he wouldn't even notice it. That's a good idea. I would give it a go. Yep, I can do that whenever you want. Yeah, please, please try that. I, I don't want to try anything which is forceful, okay? And actually, you know, when when he's changing, going to bed and stuff like that, you know, he's half naked sometimes, you know? Can I observe him, you know, and do a medicine check like that? I, I know it's with disadvantage, what not. I'm not pervert. pervert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So don't basically... I just like to see if if there is anything um, to change. You on could, his I would allow you to do it at disadvantage, and that, but that would only allow you to detect anything that was like visible. You know, you could. Yeah, you, I, any, I understand. Yeah. Like a knife sticking out. Of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Like loads the, of sores, it was in pus everywhere. And... <laughs> I, I know, I know. I I would give it a go. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, suppose so. You suppose you could do that. Yeah. Okay. So. I like to use my divination roll twenty for the for this. Okay. So the, my my medicine check would be even with the disadvantage, it would be uh, twenty four. Okay. I mean, it might not okay. come up. Okay, you're a sneaky, you're a sneaky little watson, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. Just make yourself invisible. And don't you think he? he cannot see through this, you know, with his higher level of wizardry than me. Is he that perceptive? He might be. I mean, I'm sure he is, you know, quite wise, man. Could inspire you, if that helps on any check. Uh, um, I, I think I'm okay with this. Thanks for the offer, but I think I'm alright. A little ditty just for it that I learned on TikTok. That it goes like, "Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious." <laughs> You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> you little pervert. You just want to. Watch an old man get naked. Ooh. <laughs> like I've been doing it for the last four days, isn't it? Different cabins. You know you're allowed to sleep in your own cabin. You don't have to sleep with the old man, right? Uh, I, in my mind, I was guarding him, you know, regarding you know his recovery. So I slept, you know, on the floor. Trying it. Okay, fine. Hey, look, whatever, whatever get, makes you sleep at night. Listen, I don't want to lose him again. That's how it is. Clingy. I see how this is going. <laughs> <laughs> you are just jealous. So did I figure out anything? Am I on the captain? Um, Phil? Well, when it, that was, that's, that's what you're going to do um, when you retire for the evening, is it? Yes. Yeah. So we'll we'll not got to that bit that stage yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 I, well, I thought we were there. All right. That's, no worries. But that's what you're planning to do. Um, yes, I am. 
So, yep. Yeah, did you get that message then, Dan? I did. Yes, good, I did. Good. Is anybody else doing uh, doing anything? Um, no. I will, Sorry. I will make it clear that the cat seems to be a little bit perturbed that the uh, the rats have disappeared off the ship. Isn't the uh, ship supposed to be sinking before that happens? <laughs> well, this is this is the uh, the warning I'm giving you. The cat seems to be going hungry, which is never a good sign, especially on a ship. Something seems to have pushed all the all the rats away. Captain Co Captain Tom complains that he's hungry a lot. All the rats have just fled the ship. Yep. Oh, they've, just dis they've disappeared. A lot of them, not right. all of them. A lot of oh, them. Oh, sorry, I missed. <laughs> complains, I, read it, I read it as complains he's hungry a lot. Oh. As the rats have disappeared. Apologies. Oh, uh, yeah, it's my fault. There should be a comma there. <laughs> Is it on any particular place in the, on the ship? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's just mowing at me and asking for food. Yeah, he has free range of the ship. Obviously, he can't open doors, so... I can't just can't. ask him if it's any any particular place that he might be able to give you any semblance of. Yeah. Bearing in mind he's a cat. The, uh, I, I do have another spell that I'm dying to let go, and that's Beast Sense, so I can get inside Cat and just go for a wander around wherever I want. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying the cat. Very happy about that. <laughs> but it, it'll never know. Cat's not oh, going to tell. Just sound perverted. Yeah. Well, <laughs> violate the cat. <laughs> I just, I just had a, an not image like there. Are you walking around with cat attached to your, to your groin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have that image as well. <laughs> I won't going to voice it though. Something wrong we are, honestly. <laughs> wow. Not wired up right. <laughs> <laughs> right, that, that didn't even occur to me, but now you've said well, it's exactly. quite disgusting. I'm surprised that you didn't think of that, Louis, to be honest. Oh, dear. Uh... <laughs> I'm just thinking, Bestiality how many does that cat have? <laughs> Bestiality <laughs> sense. <laughs> Great, I'm never going to use that spell ever now. Thanks a lot. Oh, dear. Uh... And now for Fook, for Fook's going to go, oh, wasn't I supposed to be snacking on the rats? Um. So. So. Yeah. What? Well, uh, I. Oh. Yeah. Are you asking him uh, anything else then? While... Yeah, I'll find out if, if it's any particular part of the ship. So he tells um... you he can. He's only been able to find rats. Um. On the. Uh, towards the back of the ship. Um. So it's hunting. There's no hunting to be done at the at the front of the ship. I wonder if it might be worthwhile trying to talk to one at rats. No stopping me from doing that, is there? There is not. Okay, one. I'll get cat to catch Are you one. You guys telling us this? Yeah, 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 this is all coming through to you. Okay. I'm not trying to keep any secrets from anybody. Um. So I'll I'll thank the cat for the information. I'll try and give him some food next time I've got some. Uh huh. By way of uh, thanks. Um. Does the cat can the cat sense anything that's you know happening in the ship? Uh, Captain Tom, have any uh, feelings about strong feelings about what's happening this time around? Is it different to any other time he's been on the he ship? He says that. Um... He says that um... he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't sleep. He, pref he prefers to sleep. He's been sleeping at the uh, back end of the ship for the past couple of days because he. Um... He feels uncomfortable at the front of the ship. And the rats are doing the same. Yeah, but he doesn't seem to um, he doesn't seem Care to draw about. any 
sort of connection between that. No. But then he's a cat. Have we got a picture of the ship again? You know, the whole three floors thing, four floors uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm looking in journal, just in case it's in there, but I can't see anything. Where is it? Um, I've got it somewhere. Oops. See that? Yep. yep. Is there any particular floor that the cat wants to stay away from or is it keen to stay on? Uh, so it tells you he's been sleeping near the cabins. <coughs> Excuse me. Lower deck. Uh, yes. Back of the lower deck. Yeah. He used to sleep in the hole, uh, down in the hole, it's but old. he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't sleep down there. He doesn't sleep down feel there. uneasy. Yeah, he hasn't slept down there for a couple of days. Um, how does he feel about letting me, um, you know, joyride his mind and we we we'll have a look around down there, see what's going on? He doesn't understand what you mean. Maybe I should just maybe I should just mentally rape him, <laughs> mentally rape the cat. This area near uh, near the sailor. Skew sailor. Oops! Go got something there. You what? Sorry, Lee. Area, what Lee. he's talking about is no, Angus Lee's in, the, the, in the back of the boat, yeah. So, one I, of the cabins. yeah, Angus Lee is in, in one of the cabins. So, the cat, and that's so, yeah. In there's there's four or oh, sorry, three cabins one's got um, all Wayne in, one's got one's kids, and one is um, where the Angus Lee, that sailor from the other ship, is. Which one's he in? Um, the, the corner one, the bottom corner one. Are they numbered? So what, 11? 10? Uh, the alt cabins are numbered 11. So, so he's in 11? Yeah, but so he's... Okay. Is it, yeah, so is it, he's in the L-shaped one, in the bottom right-hand car. Have to let us know if it comes back up, Kieran. You guys, Jimmy, okay? Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, so we might as well continue because it'll, if it's providing it's working, it'll, uh, it'll catch up anyway, won't it? Uh, what we were saying then? Uh, so don't detect disease. So yeah, good night. So is that what we're gonna do? Just gonna wait and do that. Wait for the evening and covertly cast spells on, on all Wayne. Yeah, you say it, you say it like that. I'm not. No, it's just a case of his his collateral damage. Basically, I'm going to be walking. Around. I'm not. I am going to be targeting him, but you don't need to know that. I'm not trying to upset the uh, super powerful wizard <laughs> by casting spells on him. So, but that that's all that remains then. So you're just okay. waiting and doing the identify on him uh, after he's gone to sleep. No, first, I like to check. Is, you know, oh yeah, do, yeah. Okay, so you can do that. So what you can do a, a medicine check at um, disadvantage. Then see if you can spot any visual um, tells. So it's a twenty-four. Oh, twenty-four. Uh, no, you can't right. see. Anything. You can't see anything untoward about him. Mm-hmm. Nothing, you know. Considering he's an old man. I mean, yeah, you know, he doesn't get, he don't get, um, he don't get uh, stripped naked, so yeah, limited in what you can see. <laughs> okay, okay. So I changed my mind. I'm not casting anything on him after. Uh, I let him sleep. Right. Because he is a, he's no. 
He's a powerful wizard. Coward. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, and I think he might be able to defend himself from, you know, magic. He's not ill, as far as we can see, and established from spells. So, ooh. yeah. So it could let's, just be let's, that he's just he's just tired. He's an old man. Yeah, I, I let him sleep. I'm not doing anything else. I mean, I actually sleep in the cabin on the floor just to observe him if it's needed. Okay. If he needs anything. Okay. Right then. Um, okay. And, and I, sorry, and I send a message to the others regarding what I've done and why I changed my mind. Okay. Uh, so I presume that rules, rules you out of any paranoid um, watch that uh, the rest are going to set. Yeah, I'm not watching this. I'm watching all my master. Okay. Does that mean you're trying to stay awake all night? No. You're I'm just going to sleep the in there. You're just going to sleep yeah. in there, yeah, in case there's yeah, any. And, and, and if I wake up, I check on him. Yeah. That's all. Okay. No problem. Uh, so, yeah. So, is uh, what about the rest of you for the evening? Are you still um, going ahead and setting a watch or... Because the rest of you are in the common sort of shared sleeping area, aren't you? I'm still doing a watch. I'll still do a watch. Okay, so who are we talking then? Well, me and Fook so far. All right, is it just... Uh, I'm... I'm I'm up for a watch. I just don't know if I if I'm capable. Am I not tied up with all? Or has that been done? Oh yeah, it's all done. That. Oh sorry, I must have missed that. Yeah, that was during that was during the um, the afternoon, wasn't it? Okay. So how many people are awake late at night? What in the crew? You are the crew. Sensible you mean? people are. Right. The crew. Um, so there's going to be like a, for want of a better word, there'll be a skeleton crew on deck, uh, which will be about um, five or six people. Maybe maybe a few more. So basically, the people that were you got you got more cur uh, more. There's more people on duty during the day than there is on an evening. Uh, how, how many people are? I mean the crew. What's the number of the crew? So the together? crew, not in, not in count, not counting the cook and the officers. There's twenty. Uh, there's twenty crew. Well, nineteen now. Mm -hmm. Since uh, since one drowned. Don't they work in in rotation? Like yes. You know, A crew, B crew, and and it's always the same number. No, is, there's is not. There's le there's less. There's less on duty on an evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's not so, as uh, there's not as much going. But they are they are rotated that eve that night shift is rotated rotated through though, so it's not the same people all the time. So my my thoughts are. Uh... familiar with when the shifts change so what I would like to do discussing it with the party of course is um, which by the way is emotional development for, for Fook is actually consulting people as opposed to just <laughs> doing his own thing <clears throat> so it's emotional development please take note <laughs> I like it <laughs> um, is he would like to go take a look. He would go like take a look at this forward hold, um, and he would like to um, do it under the cover of pass without trace. Um, or he's happy to help somebody else would hold, because I could give blessing of the trickster to somebody, which would give advantage on stealth checks. You know, graces of a Lidamar and all that. And I could cast Pass Without Trace, and it would be active as long as someone's within 30 foot of me. So I could cast it, 
me just hang on. Blah blah blah. Yep. So I could cast it on myself, and then send someone forward to to go sort of try the forward hold, get in there. Cast it like I know Oval can. With no blessing of the trick, I can't have it on myself. Um, and then try and get the door open and go go in and take a look to see what's there. Probably better to because a pass without trace. B I could put blessing of the tricks on him. Um, which I can't do. So I'd have I'd need a light of some kind to find my way around. What do you think of that plan? Unless you sent me, because I can see that I'm small. I could cast our vision on you. Or is it a spell? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I'm not, I'm not involved in this because I'm oh, not there. Yeah. Okay. Rafi, where it is? Shadow Arts. Yeah, I can cast our vision. <clears throat> Lasts for a while as well, I think. Uh, yeah, it lasts for eight hours. Holy shit. It's a long time. Has, has a range of 60 feet. Uh, perfect. So, I mean, if you cast that on me, then you can either cast cost without trace or I can cast. Doesn't really matter. Um, then I can head down and see if I can get into the forward hold, see what's going on. Build if I find anything. Okay, is that what you're doing then? As long as there's no stealth. Everyone happy with that? Yeah, Jacqueline didn't want anything involved with stealth too. Uh, yeah. So who's doing what then? Well, I'll be casting uh, Dark Vision on for Fook. Okay. I'm pass without trace, or am I casting that? Um. If I do it, it lasts for an hour. It's con concentration, I believe, as well, isn't it? Probably better we uh, for Fook doing that. Then cause you've got to, you've got to remain within um, thirty feet of him, which uh, presumably um, means line of sight as well, since it doesn't say otherwise. He doesn't say having to remain. Yeah, it's because it's centered on that person. It's, it's somebody, people within thirty feet of you. Yeah, it just says for the duration, each each creature you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has a plus 10 bonus. Does it require concentration? Yes. Yeah. Spells yeah. get blocked by line of sight, so... Yeah. yeah. So, it does need the line of sight then for concentration. Pass that, that trace on myself then. Yeah, I have to do it on yourself. <laughs> yeah, for the duration, so during the duration, each creature you uh, you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has the same thing, but you've got to maintain line of sight. Because we're all. Fine. Yeah. So you, so you cast dark vision. Uh, um, I cast past that trace, and then I choose my moment when you know maximum sleepiness, middle of shift so i should have it yeah so Can't simple enough to, to uh, yeah simple enough to watch to like pick your moment keep an eye on things uh okay so I that's steal across the decks down into the hold okay so just give us a stealth check then double check so stealth. this will be right. excuse me uh, this will be sort of about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, will it be? Let's think, actually. Yeah, about one in the morning, I would say. 
lucky. That's Oops. why lowest roll without rolling a one. <laughs> Advantage, because I picked the perfect time of night when everyone's at maximum sleepiness. Uh, you don't need it. That's, that's fine anyway, 17. But no, it wouldn't be advantage, no. Uh, okay, so <clears> you, you sneak down, um, avoiding the uh, couple of uh, couple of crew that uh, are sort of restless aren't, and aren't sleep, actually asleep. Um, and yeah, you, you easily make it over to uh, to the door at the front end of the hold. Excellent, and I attempt to quietly open it. It's locked. Um, I try to pick the lock. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's the sleight of hand? Uh, yeah. Okay, right. You um, uh, there's a, a satisfying click, and the uh, as the lock gives way to your talents. The door's now unlocked. Put this away. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, nobody. I put my tool away, and my lock picks. Definitely open the door after checking for being watched. Okay. Then head into the forward hold. Okay. Right, you check about and then open the door uh, just wide enough for you to slip inside and close it behind you. Um, right, you almost jump back into ju you almost jump back into the door with a start uh, as uh, as you look as you. As you look, turn to face the room, which is apparently the armory, but sat squat in the middle of the floor is a statue from the Widow's Bounty. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. I knew it would turn up. That's why I kept advocating to throw it in the sea. Ah. Oh. Right, you instantly can feel this sort of sense of repulsion, revulsion rather. I am. Um, like, right, okay, take a few deep breaths. Um, I'm inside the room already, right? Yeah. The door shut behind me. Yeah. And I, I think carefully, and I ritually cast identify on the statue. To find out what bank we're dealing with now. Uh, right. um, let's have a look. Quite sure how identifier would interact with this. Hmm. 
Oops. Collection necessary to deal with um, creepy little statue. Okay, right, so you cast identify and touch it uh, and it's it's imbued with magic but it also seems to be alive. It's like an object but it's alive as well. Feels all kinds of queasy right. right suddenly, now. Um, suddenly you you notice that your periphery vision is is uh, is darkening, and you get suddenly get a, a, a intense feeling, a sensation of tunnel vision, and you feel like like pressure, uh, like intense pressure at first around your temples, and then then all over your body. You feel like um, like the very air is crushing you. Okay, I am I still touching it? Um, Stop touching it. Right, that doesn't change it. Change anything. You still feel like this intense, uh, like intense pressure all around you. Um. I get out of there. Okay. Um, <sighs> right. You have to Behind make a, an intelligence save. <clears throat> yeah. Checking what that is. Not bad. Okay. Right, you feel there's a like a sudden, uh, like it's not not like a blast of air, but like a physical, like force impacts you. Um, A moment, I've lost the damage. Right? Why did that not show up? Oh, right, I have to roll it, do I? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, right. So you feel this like sort of in, like invisible force strike you, but it, it um, you s luckily um, seem to uh, manage to act just act by chance, sidestep uh, the full for a full brunt of the force, and it just staggers you slightly as you stumble in towards uh, stumble towards the door. To the hold and. Shut up behind me. Okay. <clears throat> and I, t I, I just try and get, I try and get back to the party to, um, to break the news that we've got a fucking um, stowaway on board, and it's not the good, good kind. <laughs> okay, right. As you stagger, <laughs> as you stagger up the steps um, to the uh, to the lower deck. This uh, this your vision returns properly uh, to normal, and this se uh, this sense of pressure uh, fades. I uh, I assume Obold's up there waiting. 
presumably, yeah. yeah, presumably Orbold and, and Lou High as well. Oh, I just tell oh, I tell the monks I just say, oh, Bold, you remember that ugly fucking statue they gave us the willies? Yeah. And and I it, it there's magic, but the thing's also kind of alive. It did some kind of weird attack on me, some kind of attack on my mind, and I I barely seem to get away. So I think we're gonna have to wake up the crew. Hmm. Deal with this thing fucking sharpish. We're gonna end up with a bunch of people shouting join us and jumping into the ocean. Yeah. Going by that blog story. It's so, appear we didn't note down what them what he scribed in them circles. Well, I think I think yep. the captain recognised a lot of them. She said it was well, the you, um, god of the sea or something. You want Lee? Tell you. Mind what? you, I don't think it's a good idea to let him know that uh, it's back no, on board. I think he'll freak out if we tell him. Just ask. Just ask Thanks. him uh, the, what kind of the other sailor. Just ask him what kind of proje projection he used. see it. it it was it was like concentric circles with some symbols representing the god of the sea and he prayed he prayed exceptionally hard for deliverance must have got a critical on it either way i think we're gonna have to wake the captain up like now before morning it was my pointer Okay, right, as you're talking, you hear, hear movement uh, behind you, and um, you see uh, about 10, 10, uh, 10 crew members, 10 or more crew members, filing, uh, walking in, in, like, in like a trance, in single file, walking up from the, uh, from the hold and uh, up, uh, up the steps to the uh, main deck. Oh dear. Shut the shut the hatch. Shut the hatch. Come in. Okay. Then. I'll have to try and get in front of him, Phil. Radio. Um Well, make a uh, a dex check then. Could I just out of interest, would I be able to use Shadow Step down here? Uh yes, I imagine you'd be able to use Shadow Shadow Step down there, yeah. There's hardly any light, it is quite dark, yeah. So use that to get in front of them. Okay. Right. And then shut the hatch. Okay. Right. You managed to do that, and Did then I? you uh, that allow you to get up on up on up on deck and shut the hatch. <coughs> so I was shut inside with the zombies. Yeah. Ace. You Ace. lot would have. Yeah, but for you lot to get oh. past, they, some of them would have got out. No, I know. It's fine. I'll shout for the captain. Right, Liz. I'll run to the captain, Bill. Hey, do you want to come take? Uh, so you ca the captain, the captain's cabin is on the is up on entrance. The captain's cabin is on the main deck. So you, um, so uh, there's only Orbold them, up on the main deck, along with uh, whatever with crews. Crew. Yeah, with the crew. Um, let's see, one, two, oh, mate, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Person might be a good eight, option. Nine, ten, I'll have a look around and see if any other other crew are trying to shift my like, shuffle off the ship. Okay, so there's as you look as you look around you, there's uh, three uh, three crew members stood stood climbing up onto the railing outer railings of the ship, while another one's like like uh, got got hold of one trying to stop him. Um, looking towards the captain's cabin, she comes walking out in a, uh, in a trance and walks oh. to walking towards the sides of the, sh the ra rails of the ship. 
after you shadow step to try and get towards them, Phil? Uh, to uh, to to the front of the ship, towards the forecastle. The doors open, and uh, this uh, second mate starts um, sort of slowly walking out from uh, from the officers' quarters. I'll, uh, Second mate is a navigator, by the way. Yeah, I'll shadow step towards the the captain. Okay, there's a splash oh. as uh, as two of the crew uh, two of the crew just step off the side of the ship. I'm not bothered about the crew at the minute. It's more about the captain, and I'll slap her. Okay, right, you slap her, snapping like. Like snapping her head back, um, and she doesn't even flinch. She just uh, sort of slowly uh, walks, starts walking around you. I'll uh, tackle her to the floor then, Phil. Okay, right. Meanwhile, the other other crewmate, uh, a couple of uh, crew on on <coughs> deck, drag uh, drag two of the crew down and hold uh, and like holding them down. Meanwhile, the navigator walks over to uh, the railings on the on the port side. Actually, I'm good. I'll have to um, push her back, Phil. Okay. And then I'll have to shadow step again to where the nav where the navigator is and drag him off the railings. Okay. Uh, gives a, gives us an initiative then, or a dex check, whichever way is it. It's same anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're both the same. No, oh, it says I can't do a, an initiative roll, so no, just, dex yeah, check. just do a dex. It's, um, I think you bet, um, bet what they've got anyway. Uh, saving throw, because an ability check is worse than an initiative. Just, just roll a d20 and just, just shoot dice trade. Just roll a d20 and just add your dex bonus on. So it is just a dexterity check, not initiative. Uh, yeah, because like, yeah, you get yeah, your proficiency I, and yeah, I can't, I can't add stuff like that on for the bonus. Fuck off, email alerts. Jesus Christ, go away. Yeah, just off a twenty onto an, an eight. That that's fine. Like I said, they only rolled a two, so you weren't gonna. So yeah, you you, you like um, shadow step over to the uh, second mate and grab him just as he's about to. Um, Pull him back just as he's about to throw himself up. Well, not throw himself, like step off the side of the ship. Can I drag him and push him into the captain's open door? Uh, you... The captain's cabin. Are they close by to each other? You could try. They don't put up a great deal of resistance, so it's uh, it's not hard. You know, they're not mm. like they don't really sort of struggle against what uh, against you doing anything. Um, oh. Can um, can Cade? And well, I'll do all. Well. Can Cade make a wisdom saving throw? Uh, okay, that's fine. You're blissfully unaware as you continue to sleep. So, Kobolds, <coughs> so Kobolds got to the deck. Yeah. Slammed the. Push the captain over. Uh, rescue the captain, rescue the navigator. Well, in the, yeah, in the process of, yeah. I and I are sort of downstairs. Yeah, so. Uh, with, the, with the zombie lot. Yeah, so, so they're just sort of stood. I just tell, I just tell Lazai. Lazai, can you, can you go wake up Olwen and Kate like right now? We need them awake and aware, like right now. Double check they aren't zombie fight. I say, Tex, do you want to come look at this ugly fucking statue causing our problems? Could <laughs> give it, uh, the doors. What's the, was the statue made of stone? Yes. Yeah. I do have kind of like proficiency against stone, but you know, like finding out where things are from. Don't well, I think it's, it's called. It's, I, yeah, I, it's I personally real... think this is from one of the levels of hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's guesswork, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really to do with construction and stuff. So you're like um, 
stone secret stone secret doors and things you'd be better at finding have a, a better chance at finding things like that and it, it's got what it says and you to the origin of stonework it's made of stone it's stone yeah surely i see what you're saying with regards to secret doors and stuff but if it's made of stone if it's a statue Well, potentially. Potentially. I'll take second down and uh... I'll have a look at it for now. Down and yep. point out the uh, stone, and I just say, "Look, it it feels alive, not just magical." Okay, it's so while you're going down there, there um, uh, Lou Hai goes and um, hammers on um, on Alwyn's door. So yeah, Cage, you're woken up by somebody hammering on on the cabin door. <clears throat> I, I, I open the door and ask, are we sinking? Lee? Lee? I open the door Lee. while you are hammering it and asking, are we sinking? All oh, right. Uh, the crew has gone mental. They're, they're trying to jump off the sides of the boat. Uh, okay, I, I wake up my master. And you know, I'm 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 heading up deck. Okay, right. It, it takes a moment. It's, it's sort of a bit groggy, and it takes a moment to wake up. I I mean, I leave. I wake him up, and I leave. Yeah, behind, yeah, yeah. Leave yeah. him behind. Yeah. I, if it he takes longer, that's his business. I'm doing mine. Okay. So you. So what? What's Lou High doing? I'm going and grabbing my gauntlets. Okay. Okay. So Cade, you um, you uh, head towards the steps leading up to the uh, main deck. Uh, the um, the trap doors shut and locked from the other side. Um, there's all the sailors about about eight to ten sailors all crowded round the steps. Um, some of the other sailors uh, are awake now from and are coming up from the hold and like trying to wake trying to like uh, wake the the crewmates up. So is not everyone under the influence of no, this thing? No, I, not I, everyone. Are they clear? Sorry? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I shout uh, with my tiny voice, all hands on deck. Okay, okay. Uh, right. He yells back to him. Keep them off the deck because the fuckers keep trying to jump into the ocean. It's that statue <laughs> in the hold that's doing it. I know, but that's the, that's the roll call on a ship, you know. Uh, Hands off the deck. Right. So what's uh, what's Orbal doing? You don't want them on deck. You don't want them on the deck. I'm shoving the uh, second mate back into his cabin and shutting the door. Oh, you weren't shoving them both into captain's cabin. Oh well, yeah. I'll try both into yeah. the captain's cabin actually and shut the door. Okay. Right. You grab the captain as he's about as he, as she's um, getting to her feet and heading back towards the um, side of the ship. I managed to. <clears throat> managed to drag them both in uh, both inside the captain's cabin um and I'll shout for the first mate with uh Durga uh, no that, um, first mate is Francis Durgat's the bosun all right uh but yeah after you, after you shout, I'll shout for both yeah I'll shout for both so you raise the alarm and um, Francis and Durgat uh, emerge on deck out the out the uh, officers' quarters uh, and quickly launch into action, going uh, dragging, assisting the other crew and dragging the um, sleepwalking <clears throat> crewmates and locking them in the officers' quarters. Which one was it, Durgat or? Francis that went across with us with a captain, or was Durgat. it just Durgat? Yeah, Durgat. Yeah, I'll say to Durgat that, that there's quietly so everyone else doesn't overhear. I'll say this that statue seems to have turned up downstairs in the hold. This is... What who brought that on board? I've no idea. One of my colleagues found it. We had an inkling something was going off. Where is it? 
totally innocently. Uh, down in the just down in the hole, he said. I don't know the specifics because I wasn't one that found it. But as right. soon as he told me, that's when everyone started wandering up onto deck and trying to jump off ship. Right, he tell he gets Francis to um, make sure they secure the others in the officers' uh, quarters and make sure they they stay in there. And Durgat, run, Durgat runs over to um, the uh, like I'm not sure what you call them. There's kind of trap doors on the on the starboard side. Opens up one of those and and drops drops down to the uh, lower deck below. Oh, the hatches. Yeah. So where, where we, I have a question, where we are, you know, me and my master, and there are like eight sailors. Are they still trying to go out or not, or what? Uh, they they are. They they've not stopped, but they're kind of they're not. For trying to force the way out, they've just come to a halt. Or just keep bumping they're into just, the hatch. Yeah, they kind of just sort of. Okay, is is there any sailor? Around us, who is not under the influence of this thing? Yeah, there's a uh, there's a few that aren't. They've just come. They've come uh, up from the lower deck, from the hold, and they're trying to um, trying to uh, wake, bring the crewmates out of it. So there's uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's about six. Uh, no, because some up on deck. So there's about four, four or five crew that uh, seem to be um, not under the influence that are trying to um, wake you know snap the the rest of the crew out of it mm -hmm. okay so if so I have four people under the influence and four or five not under the influence eight nine uh, so, so yeah about that. there's more there so there's about eight under the influence and about four that's not Okay, I, I turn to the guys who are awake. If we knock them out, are you okay with that? So Alwyn just uh, make a gesture, something, and, and and utters a phrase, and and they all, by you, they all just like fall to the floor. Yeah, I was gonna do hypnotic pattern, you know, so we can knock them out. But yeah, I take with my, I go with my master so solution. They, they, yeah. So the 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 um, ones that are well, under the influence, of, the, all the sailors just like collapse, unconscious to the floor. So there's no need for it. There's no time for negotiation, uh, Cade. <coughs> I, I was trying to be polite, you know, my master. Always too so, polite. Um, I mean, so in the meantime, I've got a pointed tackling at the uh, statue. Yep. So there's the ugly fucker over there. Okay, right. As soon as you walk into um, uh, the armory, um, you're again subjected to this uh, feeling of intense pressure, and your vision starts to um, dark. Your peripheral vision darkens. I um, can I try spells? Uh, you can, yeah. Um, I don't know if it'll work, but I cast the spell magic on it. Okay. Uh, what's Tacklin doing? Uh, I'm Chris. gonna try and do stone cunning, but it's just a history check with yes. my proficiency doubled. Yeah. So is that is that plus six? My proficiency is three, so would that be plus six? Yes. Cool. I'll do that then. So yeah. see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay. Um. So you'll have to if, make. If that's allowed. Yeah. Well, you can you can do it, but you can try it by all means. Uh, you'll have to make a okay. concentration check uh, to uh, cast a spell as well. Okay. Luke. So is that? Um... Oh, sorry. Uh, your check will be at disadvantage. Uh, tackling. Because of this intent, this like feeling of intent, this like, you know, this pressure. So for folks, we we'll see it through the open door. Yep. My question is, my dark vision is sixty feet. Yep. So do I feel the pressure only when I'm within a certain distance of it? So could I, I can cast the spell magic from one hundred and twenty feet away. So. 
Uh, we'll uh, cause you'll stay out to that. Let's see, so anything beyond uh, five, ten, fifteen, anything beyond twenty feet from from the door, and you'll not be able to see. You'll not be able to see into the room if if at, at the most. 15, 20 feet from the door, you'll not be able to see into it. Because of all the um, cargo and, and what have you. Okay, understood. Okay, um, so I'm casting. And I need to do a. Did you say concentration? Yeah. Check. Alright, concentration check. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nasty. Okay. Right, so you lose that spell Steep. slot. So that didn't work. Yeah, so it's you it's use the spell slot with the cat but yeah the casting failed. Uh right, tackling <coughs> you have got absolutely no idea. All you can tell is this thing is like ancient. Um and can you make a intelligence check? Intelligence save, sorry. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, okay, what's your what's uh, tackling arm class? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, right. You're suddenly struck by an invisible force that throws you back um, about five feet, knocking you against, slamming you against the wall, and you take. 24 points of damage as you Oof, feel like oh. as you feel like your ribs almost you almost like all your ribs like crack beneath the uh, yes. impact so yeah cool. do something I missed Bludge. that part so bludgeoning and psychic damage so you take four oh. psychic damage and tw uh, and and 15, is that right? 20. Yeah, and 20 um, bludgeoning damage. Why is it added that up to? You, you said 24. Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, that's because it's added. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Because it's, uh, so yeah, it's one of these, so it's, that's nine psychic damage and 15, oh. and 15 bludgeoning. Nasty. Right, so, yeah, so it's just this like tr massive, for, uh, force that like just knocks you back, slamming you against the wall. I'm stood there and that. tackling goes whooshing past me like a cannonball. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, so uh, oh, you failed, didn't you? Um, so let's see what everybody else is doing. So, um, so yeah, Alwyn, Alwyn, say uh, like starts what well, rushing as best as he can down towards the hold when uh, when you hear this uh, noise commotion downstairs uh, what's Obol doing and what's Lou Hai still, doing I'm still helping upstairs for trying to keep sailors from jumping off over shit overboard okay right right by this time you probably managed to uh, secure um, secure them all either in the captain's quarters or the officers quarters is like there other sailors that are able to there's two keep other, an eye on them? Yeah, so there's two other, there's two sailors that seem to be fine, as well as Francis, the um, uh, the second mate. Oh no, not the second mate, the first mate. I'll follow Durgar then down the uh, hatch. He jumped down. Okay. Okay, what's Lou High doing? Mm, not sure. So you emerge from uh, well, well, you get, you get you retrieve your gloves. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, <coughs> everybody's got uh, their own personal lockbox that you can store possessions in right. on the ship um, that's that's in the same area as your hat as where you sleep. Uh, okay, so you retrieve, you retrieve your gauntlets from your lockbox or whatever, and you see uh, Durgat drop down through the hatch, through a hatch from the main deck. Closely followed by Obold, and you see Alwyn and Cade d 
um, going down the steps to the hold. So, uh, good time to all then. Okay. As well, follow him down. Yes. Okay, have right. I got, Sorry, go on. Have I got chance to, have I got chance to talk to for folk? Uh, yeah, by all means. Um, just something that just cropped into my head. All this started happening when we opened the door. All the people jumping off and things like that. Maybe we should shut the door before we go any further. Me. Um, but uh, is the door open? Sorry, um, I should ask that question. If it is open. Yes. Um, thinking actually. Um, to crawl over there and shut the door. Okay. Preferably with you on my side. <laughs> Have I been flung through the door? I thought no, that was you're, no, I you're, no, one. you weren't, no. So you were slutter, hit, hit the wall inside the room. Don't shut the door. Wait till, I, wait till I put out. Then we'll shut the door. Okay. So you crawl out and shut the door. Right, so yeah, so tackling crawls out, clutch it, groaning and cl clutching his, clutching his ribs. 